What's up guys, let's get this week started off on a high note by checking out one of the most insane cars in the world, the McLaren P1 GTR, and let's run it in virtual reality here in Project Cars 2. Alright, let's get this race started. The McLaren P1 GTR is in the track day A category, so we're going up against obviously more of the same, and then also the Zonda R, and I believe possibly some other vehicles. The P1 is the newest of this class. Uh, you can see there is a Zonda R up in front of me, a couple of them actually. Um, obviously that car is insane in its own right, but pretty sure the P1 GTR would be the OP car of this particular class here in PC2. Running this here in VR, so it helps out a lot in the interior view. It just makes it a lot easier for me to see my apexes going into turns when I can just lean in with my head just like that. I will say that the racing line of the computer is definitely a lot different than what I have to do. They seem to break before I can. But then I usually have corner exit down better than they do and straight line speed better than they do. We're just going to do a couple laps here at Spa. I definitely think this is a good track for this type of really fast, really high speed car. I mean, Spa is a, overall a fairly large circuit, a fairly long circuit with a lot of different types of turns. So definitely good for the track day class, IMO. You got to admit the sound from this car is amazing. Two of my favorite sounding cars, the Zonda up in front and this one. That turn right there can be tricky. You gotta let off the gas a little bit in certain vehicles. Really, most vehicles except prototypes and formulas. But as you can see there, it takes me a little bit longer and a little bit further to brake than they do. Let's see if we can sneak by a few guys here. We got one. If you guys are into this kind of virtual reality gameplay from Project Cars 2, I'll go ahead and link another video I did in VR in this game recently at the top right of the screen. I highly recommend checking that one out as well. Hitting those three turns in succession is really satisfying. I mean, I didn't really get it that well there, but I managed to stay on the track. Even just that is satisfying. Yeah, we're killing them on the straight line speed. But this car is a little bit twitchy, so I gotta take these turns here fairly conservatively. Just being in virtual reality in a car with this kind of sound and speed is just an amazing experience. It's so immersive. These videos I do with virtual reality here in this game are usually done with uh, obviously the VR headset on Project Cars 2 on the PC and I'm using a Thrustmaster T300 wheel and pedal set. Just the combination of being, uh, you know, having a wheel and VR just really helps bring the immersion a whole lot further than, you know, just sitting on the couch or in your chair with a controller looking at a flat screen. I mean, I still like to do that as well because I find that you can't really run VR for too long before it just starts to get, I don't know, just you just get fatigued from it. You have to set the heavy headset on your face and your face just gets so warm over time because obviously it's, you know, it's running monitors right up against your eyes. You find that your your face and your forehead will get really warm after a while, so I don't know, maybe like an hour of VR is good for me. But within that hour, it's a whole lot of fun. I gotta say that. 
It definitely makes using the interior view a lot better though, because if you're using interior view or cockpit cam in on a flat screen, it's really hard to know what's around you. Like you can't, I mean, obviously some games let you look to the left and right, but that's not enough sometimes. Like in Gran Turismo Sport, you can use that radar function that's at the bottom right, which that's actually really helpful. But in VR, you can look freely at your mirrors and things like that to help you understand and get context of what's around you. Otherwise, if I'm racing on or in non-VR, if I'm not in VR, then I'll probably use the chase cam just because that helps you really see who's around you. Yeah, so that's a lessons learned right there. I came into that turn in third gear when I wanted to be in second. So I was like, hey, I'm going to shift mid-turn down in the second. And, you know, this is a rear-wheel drive car. So it just knocked the back end just a little bit too loose. And I was done. So we'll learn from that. And I messed that turn up, but it's really rewarding when you get the pacing right. It's like a double apex, long sweeping turn. Those can be really tricky to get right though. And this, is, this car just sounds glorious though. These last few turns are kind of slow and you really have to be careful because of the way they're banked. They're very slippery. Alright guys, race is over. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. If you'd like to see more content from Project Cars 2 and more virtual reality content, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on anything. Once again, I'm Daniel. I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next video.